This painter was born in 1873 of Belgian parents in Portici, Italy, while they were visiting during his father's Italian grand tour. His father gave him his first artistic courses. Thereafter, he enrolled in the Academy of Fine Arts in Ghent until he was 14 years old, the time during which he sold his first painting at the Ghent Triennale. When he was only 15 years old, he exhibited for the first time at the Salon de Paris. There, he presented a monumental piece entitled The Launch of the Argo, which caused a great scandal due to the nudity of the figures within. However, he was still awarded a special mention, protected by none other than William Adolphe Bouguereau himself. He also excelled as a sculptor and was commissioned for several monuments in public squares. In 1897, he won the second prize at the Prix de Rome in Belgium in the sculpture section. And one year later, he won the exact same prize, but this time in the painting section. He exhibited internationally and won several prizes in cities like Paris, Milan, Munich, Venice, etc. At the beginning of the First World War, he went to stay in Bordighera in Italy, in his villa Nostro Nido, with his studio called Mio Sogno, in Via dei Colli, nearby Villa Pompeo Mariani. Bordighera has always been a place which inspired many artists. Claude Monet himself would paint several paintings there. In this painting, we recognize the Mediterranean spirit and colors. The elegant lady framed by the wisteria, the warmth of the colors, the vase with the iris, are all elements that translate the warmth of that early spring sun in this peaceful abode. In 1926, he visited North Africa, where he was charmed by Algeria, so much so that he would open La Voliere, his studio there, which became quite famous locally. He eventually lived there for nine years. He appreciated the light and atmosphere there so much that it would make him change his own palette to lighter, softer colors. In 1938, he moved back to Ghent until his passing in 1965. This painter is Jules Pierre van Biesbroek, a Belgian painter of the 19th century. Fernand Arnaudiès, after meeting with this shy painter, would write a book about him and call him the magician of colors.